Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about soda pop dog toys and today we're talking about the tree dispenser and chew toys. If you're interested in the normal dog toys, the retrieving toys or pure chew toys, as well as the lick mud products or bowls, then please do check out the other videos. So I filmed separate videos because it would have been just a bit too much otherwise. And today we're talking purely about the tree dispenser chew toys. Without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the MKB, the Mud Kicks Butt. And this is um, a brand from the Soda Pop family. And I think it's probably one of their cutest ones. So they have the skull toys. These come also as the retrieving toys. So they would come with a string attached. And they have um, this opening here where you can pop in treats or um, wet food, however skilled your dog is um, or kibble. They have really cute themed toys. So this one would be Jack O' Lantern for Halloween. Then we have a Christmas edition tree dispenser toy. Um, and you can see compared to Kong, they have a different opening. So this is a bit more tricky. Um, and they have really ridiculously cute designs. So we have the um, Surf Up Retro Van. And yeah, again, it's just ridiculously cute. <laughs> Sorry, my dog food just arrived. So we have the dinosaur chew egg or like treat toy. And again, ridiculously cute. They have a grumpy bullfrog, a pharaoh hound or doggy pharaoh, as well as a baseball edition. Um, this one is actually one of our favorites. You've probably seen it around in our video. So this is the cupcake. And yeah, this is definitely one of my dog's favorite toys. They have the super cute turkey, so for Thanksgiving or just obviously you can use them at any time you want. Um, as well as this one here, this is the snowman. And then we have the USA K9. So we only got this one here. Um, it's um, a toy, so you can um, use this as a reward toy as well. So you can use this for playing, um, but you can also obviously just fill something in there. Um, yeah. I talk more about the USA K9 ones in the retrieving dog toys or the um, in the reward toy video, and also one of the reasons I really do like the Soda Pop brand is that they donate to working dogs and veterans organizations, so um, they do give back, and I think yeah, it's just something great to do. Then we have the Spotnik brand. The Spotnik brand always has like this super cute astron astronaut doggy on there. So again, this is Soda Pop brand. Um, they have a different opening to the Kong, the same as the other ones, um, and they come in different shapes. So these are all the large ones for 40 to 30 kilogram dogs. Um, I usually generally have the large versions of the toys because, um, yeah, my dogs are large. I have three and this one here would be the medium size. So this is 7 to 15 kilograms. Yeah, and you can see how, how small this one is compared to the, the large size. So, yeah, for me... I just feel like there would be a bit of a um, choking hazard and generally it's a bit small. So for me, um, these are a bit small, but if you have a French Bulldog or um, yeah, generally like a smaller breed, Jack Russell Terrier, etc., I think you would be completely perfectly fine with these ones. Um, in fact, the other ones might actually be a bit big, maybe. This one here is another medium toy. This is from the Mud Kicks Butt um, brand and this one does float and you can insert treats. So this is one... Um, I'm going to use with Panda. She's the smallest of my dogs. She has 20 kilogram. So I'm sure she would be fine. She's also a dog who does not swallow things. So yeah, I think it's a it's a nice challenge for her. However, generally, um, yeah, please do stick to basically the recommendations because you don't want this to become um, a choking hazard for your dog. Then we have the Norma Soda Pop brand, and this one is one of our favorites. We use this every day, more or less, or like at least a few times a week. It's a coffee cup. Oh, in case you wonder why there's um, still the um, the label attached, because, um, yeah, we have basically some of them already, so we will pop some of these in our shop. Um, yeah, but I just thought I would use the ones with the label so you can see actually what they look like and um, which size they are, etc. So yeah, big one um, for us in our household. And you've probably seen videos or pictures of this on Instagram in case you follow us. Um, this is a regular one we use as well as these ones. So the can toys. So really ones we use regularly. 
They also do come in an extra large version. So this one is the extra large version. You can see how much bigger this is compared to the ones we have. And this is the Magnum one um, for power chewer. So if you have an XL bully or something, I would definitely go for this one here. So this is um, yeah for powerful chewers or like um, aggressive chewers. And this is also the largest version. The opening is bigger than with the other toys. So with these ones where you would have the cross opening versus with these ones you have the normal opening. You can also obviously pop a chew in here or anything else. So you can do whatever you like, um, fit it however you like. And I think, yeah, these are great toys and my dogs love them. They also do bend a bit, not too much, but a wee bit. So if you have a dog who's really smart, they can probably also, um, yeah, by, <laughs> by biting them or chewing them a bit, um, get wet food, etc. come out easily. Then we have this one here. This is um, a holiday toy as well. So a chewy toy um, as well as treat dispenser and it's yeah ball shaped. So something fun as well, which would roll a bit. Then the classic, the cute honey bear. And I mean, yeah, this is just ridiculously cute. This is actually one we use um, sometimes only because it's quite tricky to get the food out. So if you want a challenge for your dog, then um, yeah, this is the one for you. Then here is the um, corn and the cup treat dispenser toy. And you can use this as a treat dispenser toy, obviously, but also, um, yeah, pop some yogurt, cream cheese, peanut butter, whatever your dogs like on top of it. Um, so it's also a bit of a licky mud combined. Then we have the gift box treat dispenser and chew toy. Again, quite similar to the cupcake, etc. And then this one. And I think this one is really interesting. So again, for 40 to 30 kilogram dogs, and this is what it looks like from the back. So you can fill this with um, wet food or whatever. And the dog basically has to lick it up, but it also does roll. So yeah, for me, this is a really interesting one and we will be using this one and keep this one. <laughs> and actually cannot wait to use this. And then we have the industrial dog collection here, at least part of them and they are made for gear so like they look like industrial gear so if you're into mechanics etc car stuff then <laughs> this might be something you really do like um, it has some different shapes so you know again quite nice to fill this um, it's a bit of a different challenge for the dog or this one here is a chew ball so depending on what your dog likes um, i mean this could easily be used as um, as a toy as well. So depending on what your dog likes, this is quite similar to um, the USA K9 um, chew balls. So I probably could have put this one, these two in the other video. Um, yeah, however, um, you can technically fill them as well. So they are quite versatile too. And I mentioned this in the other video that um, if you, for example, have these toys and the string comes off on the retrieving toy, you basically end up with a toy like this. You can still use it as a tree dispenser toy then. So yeah, quite versatile toys. And I think this is also what really makes this brand so appealing. I think we covered it all. Um, so <laughs> this is it for us for today. Um, if you haven't watched the video yet on why we love the brand, um, apart from them being ridiculously cute in their designs, yeah, why not check it out? Because there's many more reasons why we actually love this brand. Thank you for watching and take care.